India has managed to evacuate 324 of its citizens from virus hit Wuhan. However, six people were barred from boarding the flight due to high fever. A special Air India plane carrying the rest of the evacuees landed in the national capital at around 7.30 this morning. India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar has thanked his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi for the cooperation being extended by the Chinese government. Now that these citizens are here, what are they going through? They're all under observation for any signs of illness. Like we told you, they will be kept in isolation wards for 14 days at least. There are 211 students. 110 working professionals and three minors. Out of these, 220 people have been sent to the Army Medical Facility in Manesar on the outskirts of the national capital. 104 have been quarantined at the Chavla camp, which is managed by the ITBP, the Indo-Tibetan Border Police. All of them will undergo daily medical examination for the next two weeks. They will only be allowed to go home if they show no symptoms after the mandatory quarantine period. Now, here's the, the risk, the problem. The threat of the coronavirus cannot be ruled out even if the initial screening tests prove negative. So, as a precaution, these individuals will be subject to surveillance. And as a follow-up, their medical records will be forwarded to concerned authorities. All persons admitted to both quarantine facilities will be examined and their health status reviewed every day. All of them will be put up under quarantine for a period of 14 days from date of arrival. Now let me show you where the evacuees are being kept. On your screens are visuals from the Chavla camp in southwest Delhi. A team of 25 doctors will be at this facility which has more than 600 beds. Special arrangements have been made to host children and women at this facility. This complex has operational kitchens and bathrooms apart from modern facilities and amenities like Wi-Fi. A similar facility has been set up in nearby Manesar. Today, the Chief of Defence Staff reviewed both these facilities. With India's preparedness and focus, this is something that we've been reporting. One person in Kerala has been tested positive with the coronavirus. This was the first confirmed case of the virus in India. The patient is a student of Wuhan University. She returned from China a few days back. And here's what the national picture looks like. As per reports, around 900 people are under observation across India. Of these, 806 are from Kerala. 27 individuals are under observation in Maharashtra. In Madhya Pradesh, a 50-year-old woman and her 20-year-old son have been kept in an isolation ward for possible exposure. And in Punjab, a 28-year-old student who returned from China is also under observation. As I speak, a second Air India flight has already reached Wuhan. It left around 2 p.m. this afternoon. This is a developing story and we'll be on top of it.